Use caution for numerous birds on and in the vicinity of Wadicoat Airport. As this weather information for weather in the Oklahoma area is available on flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact, you have echo. Hi, Dick Rocher here. We have information echo at Wiley Post. And uh, just to back up just a little bit, uh, let's say we didn't know the frequency for the ATIS at Wiley Post. How might we get that? So one way is to go to Wiley Post and choose waypoint information, frequencies. The ATIS is here. If we tap on the frequency, it'll give us an opportunity to load it when it, wherever we want it. We want it in COM2 active, because that's the first one we need. And there it is. Next, we would like to have ground over at Wally Post. And we want that in the standby, because that's next. And if we were closer, we could put tower in the standby. Uh, COM-1, which leaves center, in this case, in COM-1 active, which is where we're listening, and puts the tower, if in fact that's next, uh, we're likely to go to the frequencies between here and there, so we'll not keep that the way it is. So we, now we know the uh, winds, we know the runway we want, and we can go on to uh, Wiley Post uh, procedures choose the approach we want and captain what's your what's your uh, what's your poison here well let's do the probably give us the visual but we'll do the r now three five out uh, i don't know what's going to be left or right yet okay well what's our preference three five right unless there's right. a taxi reason to do otherwise but this is the better of the two approaches since it's LPV versus LP. But if we look at a taxi diagram, that might answer that yeah, that's question. What it's going to do. For, for a good weather Charlie, day. Julia, but while we're talking about that, there's uh, there are Charlie, Garmin has visual approaches in here. And if you weren't instrument rated, which is not likely if you're flying one of these aircraft, you might uh, be able to benefit from the visual only. Uh, for instrument rated pilots, if there's an RNAV to a VMC runway, it, it's just as good, better, in fact. Uh, gives you some more options. You could proceed direct to the final approach fix on a left base, or however you wanted to do it, if you accepted the visual. So my recommendation is learn the winds, learn the layout of the runway, decide on which runway you want. Don't be worried about what they're going to give you. They might give you the same. They might ask you to get use something else, in which case you request what you want. Well, it's a negotiation process. Because we don't know what else is going on. They might give us something else. So, th uh, runway 35 uh, LPV. And how about an initial, which, which appeals to us? And by looking at the chart, of course, we can answer that question. We're coming from the, the north northwest. And actually, we'll be coming, at the time we turn the corner, we'll be coming more from the west. And so I'm, I, see it, I see a value there. Uh, uh, this one right here. The initial approach fix. Yes. Me hoof. Me hoof. So let's choose that one since it has a course reversal. Uh, this is all predicated on the idea, we'll just load it for now, that we may need that hold. And uh, if we don't need the hole, why, we can come in here later and take it out and, and do that very quickly. We can also quickly switch to activate vectors to final if that turns out to be what it is. So by loading the full approach uh, with a procedure turn, we uh, anticipate all the options, all the possibilities, including the visual. Once that's loaded up, we're pretty much done. We could do one other thing, and that is load a chart. Delta five zero uh, now to do that, I'm going to have the screen and choose chart on my side of the MFD and see to it that the RNAV 35 right is indeed loaded. 
I know okay, you can't see that. that but I can. Dick Rochford, fly safely. 4.3. Train off at 4.3. 